Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Maru, back with another video. And today, as you can see, I have another whole base here, untracked. Um, but today, so I saw in the comments, like, you guys were throwing around some ideas. I saw a lot of Tunnel 10 stuff. I do not have 10, nor do I know how to build 10. I'm sorry. But, um, JJat, he knows 10 pretty well. Um, so, just ask him. Anyways... Today I will be showing you how to defend Zap Dragons. Um, this is a base that I built recently, and I have a Zap Dragon plan for it. Zap Dragon is a pretty popular army. Um, in fact, the last two wars I've played on my 12s, I six packed each war with drags, um, one drag bat and one Zap Drag. Um, so it is obviously something that some people are struggling with, and the I can show you possibly so here's a base now you might be thinking holy shit this is a sexy base or holy shit this is a really like weird looking base but the thing is is good attackers pick this apart and the beauty about the base that I've built is because with my knowledge I am pretty sure how I know someone's going to like how someone would hit this and because drags are so in the meta I, my first thought was drags, to be honest. Um, so, I, what I will be doing today is trapping it live, and then I'm going to be testing it, self-testing, because then it'll take less time. And then, um, you guys can see how I defend Zap Dragons. So, first of all, we need to get with the plan that I have thought of. So, okay. So... Obviously, you see there's two main sections of the base. So there's, so there's this Town Hall and Inferno section, and there's this Eagle and Inferno section right here. And then if you look at the air defense formation, pretty basic Y. Um, I wish we had an, a fifth air defense at 12 or even at 13. That would be so nice because an, an X would be the... Um, best formation and that would be nasty but we don't sadly um, so looking at the air defenses I was thinking zap drags and also because of the padding and here's why so obviously with zap drags if you run across the base similar to this which it has like two or three main sections of the base what you want to do is you want to pick it apart so what I'm thinking is can you see this in front now Queen for the queen and an ice golem for the town hall. Queen should be able to reach this air defense over here. If she doesn't, it's fine. And then um, zap this air defense out and zap this air defense out. And then baby dragon over here, baby dragon over here. Dragons through this section, avoiding the sweeper. And probably like a mid warden right here. Also covering the queen couple headhunter for headhunters for the queen and then like a stone slammer over here so actually i don't even think we'll need the zaps i think we use the zaps um or i think we save the spells and just do two loons and a stone slammer and that'll take out the air defense now this base is going to be fairly hard to defend dragons because of the plan that i just came up with so your first step is you want to stop the suey in some sort of way because you can mess up the pathing you mess up the whole raid and so what I'm going to be doing, and this might not work first try either, I'm going to put some Teslas over here. I'm probably going to do, I'm thinking three Teslas, but then I might put like these Teslas back here if we need it, but for right now I'm not. And then I'm going to put two skeletons, or two skeleton traps I should say. Giant bomb, a couple of small bombs. Alright, there we go. So that is a King Sui bait. Now the queen... She doesn't need too much. I'm just going to put a skeleton trap right there. Uh, and I'm also going to put like an ice golem. Or uh, not an ice golem. Uh, a spring trap right here and here to try and spring an ice golem. And then. So we have. Some uh, trash down here that a baby dragon will probably get. But I'm going to put a Tesla right here. And then I'm also going to put. Probably a Tesla like over here. Um, this Tesla doesn't have a ton of purpose, but 
just gonna put it right there for right now anyway. Um, hmm. Okay, so I'm also gonna put these two small bombs by the town hall. And then maybe like a giant bomb over here. Uh, ground traps obviously aren't gonna be the most necessary for um, defending dragons at all, but still good if you can use some of them. Now the skeleton traps and um, a couple giant bombs will be helpful. So then, so what I'm basically trying to do here is I'm trying to kill this King Su, the, so then they have to send a Stone Slammer in for this Inferno, and then they can't send their, er, yeah, they, they can't send their Slammer over in here, which means that there's a back-end air defense for them. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to use a couple red air bombs to weaken up like the loons that come in that'll search for the sams. I want to weaken those up. And we're just going to kind of put them like, I guess this will be okay. And then, so I determined that we're probably wardening around here, plus for the um, headhunters for the queen. Also notice that I don't think you can king sue this queen because of this king right here. So it'll be harder for the queen to be king sued. Yeah, because the king would run into the king before she would before he would run into the queen. So yeah. Although if you did king sued down here, you could. But I don't know. I, I think that kind of it, it has no purpose for pathing in my opinion. Um, anyways, now what we want to do, oh yeah, they'd probably zap out this core air defense as well, so they don't have to deal with that. Now what I want to do is I just want to use a couple sands, not too many, just, just a couple. We could probably use three to four, maybe, maybe four. I guess we can probably try four. Um... And you don't really see Lalo much in the meta anymore. I mean, it's kind of a shame, but like, just being real with you, you don't. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use these two Sams right here to hit the Stone Slammer. I'm assuming this Archer Tower will get taken out by a couple leans for the funnel. Um, so yeah, and then I'm gonna use my NATO, couple leans, or not leans. What am I talking about? Um, Right air bombs, and that'll just help weaken up the drags. And actually, I'm gonna use this Tesla over here, and that'll just add some extra DPS. And now we just have some ground traps. I really don't have a use for them, um, so we're just gonna kind of put them wherever. I like to use my spring traps where my holes are now, but I don't use too many holes. And then I guess we can think about Zapwitch a little, even though we're not trying to defend Zapwitch in this video. Space is just meant to defend Zapdrag. Um, just put some giant bombs there, and then put some springs for, uh, what is it called? Super Giants. Okay, so now that we have the base trapped, I'm just gonna save it and copy the layout, just in case if I mess something up in testing. And then we're also going to set this as active in case if I need to move anything. And now we're going to set this as active. And let me get on my phone real quick. Give me a minute. I think I need CC too. Um, I was just testing Tegan's base. So kind of shout out to him. Okay, so yeah, I do need some CC because I have Blizzard on this account. So it'll be one minute. Alright. So let me log on to my 14, donate to myself real quick, and then and we should be golden. Alright. <laughs> okay, so now let me get the uh, attack ready. So, what did I determine for this? I determined that I need an ice golem, two wall breakers, one, two sneakies, a couple loons for the archer tower, and then bring in some wizards, um, two baby dragons, bring in like eight dragons.
and then we need one two zaps just two right mm, no we need four zaps one rage one heal one poison and now we can hit okay so let me just watch live for you guys okay so we're gonna start this off by doing sneaky goblins to funnel and then two limbs and a wizard wall breaker another wall breaker ice golem queen one two zaps oh yo that king's actually walking interesting wait he's coming back interesting so we're gonna zap out what we wanted so this king's already pretty weak this king suit yeah king suit doesn't even touch the inferno exactly what i wanted all right and then now we have to send the stone slammer in we're gonna send the wizard in there and then we're also gonna start the dragons because i don't want to keep it waiting Sorry if I'm doing a bad job moving this screen. I'm trying to attack on my phone at the same time. And I actually have two poisons. I did not realize that. <laughs> it's fine. Alright. Oh yeah, I didn't bring headhunters either. Kinda forgot that part. Okay, that stone summer dies. Nice. That's actually really nice. Okay, we need to heal. Except my dragons are kinda splitting up. They kind of went to the king, bro. Dang, this is nasty, bro. Like, <laughs> for anybody who didn't think my bases worked, like, you know, drags, lap drags can be pretty brutal on bases. And my queen didn't even get this air defense either. The queen, so he just died. Okay, let's try this again, but with a little adjusted army. Just so I can take an account for um, some things that I missed. So we want to bring in probably one head hunter, and um, I'm also going to bring in another baby dragon. And we wasted a poison, so we need. Okay, there we go. Okay, so starting with the Sui again. Let's start with the King Sui first. And then the Queen Sui. Gotta start with the Zap so we can funnel the King in. And then these Zaps. Baby Dragon, Baby Dragon, One Loon. And a party wizard. Nice King Sui dies 100% of the time. Alright, we need to start our dragons too. Press in that Stone Slammer as well. So the Headhunter, do a Rage Warden. Nice queen is dead. That stone summer dies really early. That's kind of crazy. So you know if that king Sui would have worked, then the attack would probably be dead because I'd have the stone slammer to reinforce it. And the king Sui would get that whole comp. But now it doesn't get anything. I mean, yeah, this is just crushed. Like, this just ass raped the dragon. So, I guess this will be a shorter video because everything kind of worked to plan. Um, but, I mean, that's okay. Short videos are still good. I mean, this video is very informative.
But yeah, I mean, Zap Drag, I guess, isn't really too hard to defend. But I mean, that was pretty much it. But um, the main notes are if you want to, if you're looking to defend, to defend Zap Drag, the most way I've, the best way I've found is kill the King Sui. Usually in Zap Drag, there's a split Sui. I I tend to see. Um, so if you kill the Sui off. For example, I killed the King Sui off. I was okay with the Queen getting the town hall because she still didn't get that much value because his expo was here and this warden was here and she didn't pull the CC, which was very nice. If she would have pulled the CC, that would have caused more problems because the CC also caused my dragons to walk over here. And if the King would have cleared that whole pump, it's likely he would have gotten the Barbarian King out as well. So then, um, the dragons also wouldn't have been pulled away and more up towards the base um and the back end inferno with some traps on it very nice as you've seen i didn't really need it but it's still pretty nice if you can have it um i'm actually gonna move this tesla i'm gonna move it over here and i'm gonna explain why okay so i want to move this tesla over here just to add some um dps in case like a ro two rocket wounds or something go after this air defense and actually i think they probably need it like right i don't really know i don't know exactly how the rocket wounds would target it so i think i'm just gonna put it like no because i would get taken out with it so i'm gonna put it like right there so then hopefully the rocket wounds target the hidden tesla before the air defense and then they run out of juice and yeah die um but then and then another important note is red air bombs if you want to you should put a couple at least two to weaken up the loons like the cocoa loons that search for the seeking air mines and then seeking air mines in the back after the warden ability and also if you can you can put the queen in like a little kill zone area i should probably do another video on that um or a video on it which i probably will explaining like what i mean by like a kill zone or like a no-fly zone um, my way because my way is of a no-fly zone isn't always everybody else's way just like Billy Bob Joe's no-fly zone isn't like Susie's fly zone or no-fly zone and it's not like Karen's no-fly zone or, you know everybody everybody has their own unique way of putting a twist on a common knowledge thing um, another thing that you can defend drags with is using a wide back end to really split up the drags as you can see it looks like a lot of dead space which is the perfect opportunity for drags to hit this but i used the dead space to my advantage um, by pulling the drags apart through 100 percent of this raid uh, like in the beginning they got separated with the king and then some of them walked off over here on the trash layer and some of them went to the core and some of them remained through the eagle and it was just kind of like a whole mess for the dragons to deal with so they really fanned out and then they didn't have that power to just punch through the base um so yeah that was pretty much it on zap drags um i guess i could leave the base link in the description i mean it is a pretty cool base but i haven't tested anything else um so i mean i guess i can leave the link to you i don't recommend copying it again because there's no benefits in copying a base that is burnt the second it goes on the internet and a base that i haven't tested and knows that it will defend even if it is burnt and also everybody can see the traps and everybody knows not to hit it with the zap drag that i hit it with so not very intelligent if you do use it but if you do go straight for it i'm not saying i'm not saying nothing i just don't encourage it i encourage you build your own anyway that was a long lecture um yeah i talk for no reason anyway i'll see you guys in the next video peace